Well, good morning to you. I'm meteorologist Caroline Crithers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with your Monday morning, September 11th tropical update. Now, yesterday, September 10th, was actually the statistical peak of hurricane season. This week is actually the peak of hurricane season here, and it's active as expected. We have four different systems. We're watching two name systems, two tropical waves. Of course, we have Hurricane Lee. We've been keeping a close eye on. We have Tropical Storm Margo, as well as two tropical waves off the coast of Africa. So let's go ahead and start with Lee. This is a pretty impressive hurricane here. Category 3 right now, max winds at 120 miles per hour. It is moving to the northwest at 8 miles per hour, currently located just north of the Lesser Antilly Island chain. So looking at the latest track from the National Hurricane Center, they do have gradual strengthening over the next day or so. That's because of low wind shear and it's still over really warm waters. Now you'll notice moving into the end of the week as it moves towards Bermuda, starts that turn northward further into the Atlantic, you notice a gradual weakening. This is due to a couple of things. One, increasing wind shear thanks to a system moving towards the east coast as well as cooler water. And the reason there's cooler water in that location is because Adalia and Franklin, two monster storms, moved through that same area and caused what's called upwelling. Upwelling is when a powerful storm system brings in cold water from the depths of the ocean, brings it to the surface. So it is cooler water there currently thanks to upwelling so that's going to contribute to the gradual weakening as well now here's a look at the forecast models with lee most of them keeping them well off the coast of the united states which is really good news now interest in nova scotia maine up near the very northern tip of new england we'll have to watch this for possibly potential impacts but it's so far away here still several days away that we're talking about but the bulk of the east coast not going to feel many impacts from this especially direct impacts mainly rough surf high risk of rip currents for most of the East Coast. Now elsewhere, we have Tropical Storm Margo expected to become a hurricane later on today or tomorrow. The good news is this is what we call a fish storm. It is moving northward through the Atlantic. No impacts to land expected. Also tracking a couple of tropical waves off the coast of Africa. The one closest to Africa that just emerged off the coast is more of a robust tropical wave. Has a medium chance for development here in that, that orange shaded area. The X is where it's currently located. So we'll have to watch this one, keep an eye on it. But the other area, the yellow shaded area, has a low chance for development. It will likely fizzle in the next day or so. So good news is no current threats to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. If you have ever have any questions or want to see any graphics or the latest this video, you can head to WKRG.com, click on our hurricane map room. That's a one-stop shop for everything you need to know.